I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. Joe Biden has made good on his promise to flood America with illegal immigrants. Joe Biden has gone so far as to putting the illegal immigrants first ahead of Americans. My question is, how long are the American people going to go for this? How long are we going to stand for this? It was a bad plan from the beginning. The American people knew it. But they're trying to convince us, oh, it's good for America. And there's evidence that it is not good for America. But instead of, in spite of that, these people up in Congress want to try to convince us that it's the best thing for America. It's good for the American people to watch other people eat and live and have jobs while we stand back and starve. The American people, I feel as if we're not stand for that. Joe Biden has destroyed America. It's not that he's destroying America, he has destroyed America. And the American people are sitting by just letting, allowing it to happen. I'm quite sure there is something we can do. Since these illegal immigrants have been in the country, they have proven themselves to be a group of criminals. Thugs. Well, want to be criminals. Jumping on police officers. Now, the thing is that since I've been in America, I've never heard about a group of guys jumping on a cop and getting out on bond. Let's forget about that part. I've never heard about a guy jumping on a cop that didn't get a beating. Something's not right with that picture. You got a 15 year old guy robbing some establishment and shoots another, well, you might as well say an immigrant, but they say a tourist. And the guy wants to be tough, tries to present himself to be some type of Thug from some stuff he watched on television. But I want to show you who these people truly are. America has turned into a playground for illegal immigrant criminals. And you have these immigrants in here that are trying to speak for Americans. They want to convince you to, hey man, do not report these illegals. It's none of your business. But it is our business. This year's presidential election makes many Americans afraid of what might happen to their families and their loved ones. In these uncertain times, bold and decisive action to protect our immigrant communities is necessary. We know that citizen and non-citizen residents live side by side, often within the same household. We should not waste resources chasing them down around at the demand of Donald Trump, and no Minnesotan should have to think twice about calling 911 because their car was stolen or their child has a medical emergency. See, when they allow immigrants and descendants thereof to do the talking, 
That's what you get. Why not ask the real American people how they feel about this immigration? You never put them in front of the camera. It's only people that are going to support your agenda. But the American people, we don't like it. We will not stand for it. We're not going to go along to get along. We are going to resist. And boy, are these Democrats desperate. They think that they can try to persuade Michelle Obama to run for president. Now, who the hell is going to vote for Michelle Obama? A continuation of Barack Obama. What did Obama do? Except for turn the world upside down. America, anyway. Well, the world, too. Because they are taking money away from people who don't support them, these different countries. It's all about the LGBT up under Obama. And then here comes Biden. All about illegal immigrants. So I can just imagine what Michelle Obama would be about. And whatever it is, the American people, we don't want it. We're not going to fall for those tactics. Oh, black girl power, all this stuff, let's hate. We are on to you. And we're not going to fall for it again. I mean, Michelle Obama is part of the group. Look at the hand sign. Don't trust her. And here's another thing I've been noticing. They have been hiring these immigrants as security officers, jailers, and cops. I guess that's supposed to intimidate us. They want to stamp that looking all mean and tough. We all know that uh, that's just a mask. You don't know what mean and tough is. You fled from your country because you were cowards. And now you want to come in and think that you are tough? Huh? I don't know about in the future. But as for right now, the Democratic Party is done. We know that anybody that you bring up, we can't trust them. Because you all are up under some type of agenda to remove Americans. All these fake promises, which these immigrants are going to find out in the future, you're going to find out who the real Indian givers are. No one wants this, this uh, invasion. The white people, now they're starting to see. They don't like it. Because now they are feeling the crunch and the bite from this invasion. The black people, we don't like it. We never did like it. Because every time you bring immigrants into this country, you always place them, you place them in black neighborhoods. And we've been tired of that. You even have Hispanics that are saying they are, are against this invasion. Because the Hispanics know what they did. They undercut the black people to get jobs. Black people getting paid 10 or 15 hours, dollars an hour for the job. His bank said, I'll do it for $2. So now, there are some more people that's going to come to undercut you. Now, you don't like it. Uh -huh. These politicians are trying to pull on the heartstrings of America. But I'm going to let you guys know, we can care less about these immigrants. We don't give a damn. Because you know why? You don't give a damn about us. Veterans. Homeless people. You don't care. Nothing from them. But you give everything to illegal immigrants. You don't even know who these people are. 
Don't know what their plan is. Are they up on some type of agenda? I'll be glad to see you Democrats go. Your game is weak. That's why you're trying to do everything you can to keep Donald Trump from running. You want to arrest him just to get him out of the way. If you know your if you knew your, your, your game was strong, you wouldn't care whether or not if Donald Trump ran because you know that you would win. But since you know that you can't win, you want to kill the opposition. America will not go for that. Joe Biden, you're the Democrats. Y'all gots to go.